Wow. Did I really read about this? I don't remember any of this. That is, this is, yeah, we got the Tome of Eternal Darkness. It's in Ooh. our inventory now. <laughs> and we can pick up that page. We can read it now. It's a page, chapter page from the Tome itself. <laughs> this one page was so good, I better frame it on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is basically how you continue, like, how you find levels of the game. You have to find pages of the book. I cannot say. Okay, is so is this like a book oh, reading I'm simulator? Sure. <laughs> So perhaps here is the best place to start. This is the most artsy game. I'm reminded of ideas <laughs> I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. And I bought this book. By a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine, and legends are born. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Usually on Saturday. Oh, good thing that we're Saturday right Your now. Done, great ancient. Forever in so for some reason, this little girl also has the Book of Eternal Darkness. Because <laughs> if you don't recognize it, that's what it is. Okay, so essentially we're reading a book about someone reading the book that we're reading. I... yeah, I guess. I don't know where she found it. Inception! So she's reading it, and you'll you'll realize... This is, yeah, this is uh, Pius Augustus narrating. <laughs> May the darkness claim the crawling chaos and damn Help, I'm sleepwalking! No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This... Whatever. <laughs> All right. This will become more. I'll, I'll explain what's happening. Yeah, I'm kind of lost is... right now. <laughs> this big monster is Mentorok. Me mm. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. I wish I could be penned down by giant pillars. <laughs> Oh no! Why did I walk in this temple and get imprisoned? Ah, oh, my life finally has meaning! Yay! So yeah, the big monster we saw is Mentorok. Um, he's... like, right now we just know he's a big monster. The strange pillar monster. Oh no, I should not have taken that thing, but this necklace can be used to heal. Basically, when you use it, it does a healing spell. Uh, uh -huh. Later on in the game, we'll actually be able to cast our own spells, but in the beginning of the game when you can't, uh, they give you, like, little items to, like, give you healing spells. And you can usually, like, use the item, like, three times or five times or something like that. <laughs> It's a design, and there's candles, and maybe the candles and the design are related. <laughs> this'll this'll be important for a puzzle later. Also, I'm really captivated by this floor. Yeah, never mind the flesh zombies. The floor is really interesting. <laughs> oh my god, corpses! Um, no, whatever. Okay, so this is some Indiana Jones shit. There's traps in here. Um, you don't like the cutscene forces you to walk on this, but you don't really have to. <laughs> you can just walk around, fuck it. Yeah, you can see, like, all the, the, like, the floor that has different texture, those are the traps. If only they didn't label this as proper traps or whatever, then they would have succeeded. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> it, it was, it was ancient times, they didn't know all the tricks back then. But they mastered the door closing behind you trick. Oh no, it's a spooky monster. So, this is introducing a new mechanic in the game. 
uh, the the sanity meter, although what the game calls the sanity meter, though it doesn't really have anything to do with mental health. It's more like a how much you're spooked meter. So I'm gonna call it the oh. spook bar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So basically, Pius didn't have this mechanic because I guess he's really fucking brave. Uh, but when you meet any monster, you will get spooked, and your spook bar will go down. But then you kill it, and then your spook meter goes back up. It goes back up when you finish it. When you finish the monster with a finishing move. Oh. <laughs> also, you may have noticed this zombie was blue. Kind of. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so, aside from the, like, little black flesh zombies, there's gonna be different colors of zombies which correspond to the color artifact we collected, like we chose with Pius Augustus. And this is, this is actually one thing that choosing the artifact changes, depending on the artifact you chose as Pius, is gonna change which zombies you're gonna fight in each part of the game. Ah, oh, okay. So we chose the green artifact, um, and we're gonna see more green monsters. Okay. We're still gonna see monsters of the other colors, but the more frequent ones will, are gonna be the green ones. Uh, each monster kind of has its own thing. Um, the blue one you saw, like when I killed it, it was doing this weird thing. If I didn't like finish it right there, it would have exploded. Okay. Uh, these ones, however, are just colorless. Yeah, They're colors. bland zombies. Um, I think, I believe, the, like, the colorless flesh zombies are actually supposed to be, like, uh, Mentorox monsters. Uh-oh. Um, if you remember, there were actually four colors, four symbols. There was, like, a red, blue, and green one. There was also a purple one. And basically, purple is Mentorox. Uh-oh. He's the, the big monster that got binded in the temple here. Right, so I got the other necklace in the other room. I can put it here. I can open the door. Ah, okay. This is a very... This is a Resident Evil puzzle. Yeah, just get the McGuffin and replace it by another McGuffin. Right, right. This is the same clue. Basically, yep. his temple is uh, symmetrical. Like, the, the corridors just go in a square. Yep. Once again, the carpets of traps. But we have to go at both ends to actually unlock the last uh, corridor. Oh, pff, good timing trap. And that's that's a red uh, zombie. Red zombies are a little more annoying than the blue ones. Uh, because they's, they've got a lot of health. And I mean a lot of health. <laughs> I mean, okay, we get it, game. You don't need to... And Let it linger for that long. That is the base red monster. Uh, like the more there's gonna be more monsters, more different monsters, bigger ones and more annoying ones. And so the red ones always have more health. And I think that's the reason I didn't want to pick the red artifact. Uh, yeah, that's understandable. So like, arguably, each artifact has its own difficulty. I would argue that red is the most difficult one. Because all the monsters have more health, and I think they also deal more damage. Okay, so red is annoying mode, got it. Yeah, um, arguably blue would be the easiest, because it's got the least annoying zombies. We'll, we'll see what they do next video, really. Because we haven't introduced that mechanic yet. Uh, and oh. the green are kind of in between. There's a oh. blowgun here. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bad idea. But at least my life is finally fun. Uh, but our our sword is broken. <laughs> Oh no, I have no sword horse! Secret and, passage, And there we huh? go. Um, we meet the green zombies. Um, so I do a little... <laughs> Are you Whoops, scared I... yet? So I do, I have a little mistake. I attacked the, uh, the good person. 
Oops. by mistake. Like, the targeting system got a little screwed. Um, and, like, the weapon I'm using is, uh, like, a blowgun that shoots poisonous darts. Which is why now he's green and he's just... <laughs> Like just taking damage all of a sudden. Also, I did not mean to attack him again. I just, I just wanted to talk to him. No, that's like, how I talk to people. It's like B button is to talk, A button is to attack, and I get confused about them. Anyway, he's gonna repair our sword. Oh. So I'm gonna pick up the sword. I'm gonna bring the sword to him. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Randy. Um. Yeah. Nah, he's just well, doing a little nap in order to well uh, to pass off the poison. <laughs> So, we can't, like, not all the traps can be avoided here, you actually, like, the the floor panels are lo as large as the room in some places, so you can't avoid all of them. Uh, if only we could show. Um, also, so you, you'll notice my green bar is really low. Yeah. That's because I attacked uh, the innocent person. That, that gets you real spooked for some reason. <laughs> And the, so the lower the bar is, the more spooked you are. So like, the screen gets like the the camera gets slanted at an angle. There's some weird noises. There's a whole lot of stuff happening. Um, yeah, also, the game, finishing move is kind of underwhelming with the blowgun. Well, blow it's, it's a blowgun. How how do you finish someone with a blowgun? I'll, I'll poison you to death faster. So, uh, Eternal Darkness, I think. Probably not the first game to, like, invent the idea of a sanity meter. But I think it's the one that popularized it. Oh. Um, and honestly, I think if it didn't have that mechanic, uh, it would not be as memorable as it was. Like, the game would have just been a mediocre horror game. Uh, yes. Oh. I just also, yeah, she's... Uh, our character is doing, like, these weird voices, because that's the effect of the spook meter. She's very spooked. <laughs> so you'll notice, those zombies are attacking each other. Uh, the zombies don't, like, they're... Each zombie basically is the servant of a different, like, ancient monster. And okay. they don't like each other. Okay, I can actually dig that. Yeah, it's interesting. It's... It, it's gonna become even more relevant later. Yeah, and at least you're starting to be less spooked. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, wait, how did that work? I, I don't know. They Sometimes they grab you and you have to, like, spin the stick to get rid of them. Finish him! Blow a dart into someone's butt. This is the worst Mortal Kombat fatality. Yeah. <laughs> the finishing moves for Mortal Kombat for the CDI. Here, let's have some uh, concept art on this wall. <laughs> well, you gotta plug it at see. some point. You can barely see because of the amazing N64 upgraded to GameCube graphics. <laughs> Oh yeah, so this is the uh, this is what happens when you use the the medallion. It heals you. It does this little spell. If you move while the little spell happens, the spell is broken and it oh. doesn't happen. Oh, all right. So you you'd better not use it when you're attacked by an enemy. Hey, is my life exciting yet? <laughs> well, it looks like you shouldn't go near it. <laughs> so, you are reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Matrock. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia. Hi, I'm here too. <laughs> slow and torturous fate. Pius Augustus you. doesn't care. You yeah. <laughs> Find yourself as food for the dead god. 
Hyasus got this and just... <laughs> he doesn't give a shit, I actually like he said He's just going in, like, every day to see how Mentorok's going. Hi, Mentorok, how you doing? Still dying? <laughs> you are one of the chosen many. Flesh and blood. Uh, whenever, I just want to take a nap. It is now your destiny to fight the eternal darkness. Oh god, title drop. Mm. I give you a gift. In return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. Wait, did we die? The obligation. I don't know what it's not. It's not a gift if I didn't die. <laughs> you can't. You can't just go. I'm not gonna kill you. That's a gift. <laughs> From those people, you must defend it, lest they use it to destroy the little brightness your world has left in it. Guard it well. My job is done. I've ruined another life. Well, that was weird. I feel fine now. <laughs> so, um, for all intents and purposes, this level is kind of over. But I don't really know why they decided to pad it out, so we found this metal staff and we have to bring it all the way back <laughs> to, to, like, one of the previous rooms. And it's just complete padding, because we're, like, we're gonna put it in a mechanism, and the mechanism is gonna open a door behind Mentorok. <laughs> also, Good yeah, job. If, if, if you uh, run for too long, your character gets exhausted. Oh no, blade scare me! Ah! No, it's actually the flesh zombies woke up, but they all got killed by the traps. Oh. <laughs> you can hear them, like, bleed out. Finish him! <laughs> yeah. Look, it'll, it'll, it'll get, give me some spook bar back. Killing those corpses is filling me with determination. Yeah, can't even go around this one. Oh my god, this is such an annoying part. Yeah, the perspective doesn't seem too great in order to do this. It's just tedious, like it takes forever. Uh-oh. You're out of uh, sanity. Right. No, that's that's not where I was supposed to go. That the mechanism is right there, actually. Oh. <laughs> what? Ragni, no! Fast Ragni, come on, the mechanism is right there. No, I better kill zombies, it's fun, it's for the entire family. I Actually, I thought I skipped them, but apparently I didn't. Well, to be fair, I think we need to get some sanity back. Eh, the spook bar isn't that important in this chapter, it becomes more important afterwards. I don't, I don't actually think it has any effect in this level, I think they just introduce it here. But like, the the effect of having a low spook bar are later. Oh, okay, now I, yeah, see, I see what you mean. It's just, well, go back over there now. Hey, I hope you like traps, I like traps. Level design. Yeah, maybe they were just really proud of this room. This is some shitty ass trap room. Oh. Fuck it. <laughs> Run. Don't care. Speedrunning techniques. No, go away. I don't care. Okay, at least the same enemy can multiple spook you. No, yeah, each zombie can spook you once. Except some. Some can suck you more than once. Alright, don't mind me, horrible god of ever looking death or whatever so, the hell you were called. I, I'll, so, this is Mentorok. I'll have you know he's the defender of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> he's the good monster. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's the good monster that stops the other bad monsters from appearing 
Howdy, flesh god, defender of mankind. Right, in this room, there's absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm serious, there's nothing in here. There's just the end of a chapter. Instead, you will die. Where is the essence of Mantarok? Yeah, I feel like... Like, the chapter should have ended at the last cutscene, but, like, they needed one more cutscene to show, like... To transition Where from her it? getting the incense of Mentorok and Pius Augustus getting mad, and they're like, how do we transition from that? Let's just make the player walk around. Very mm -hmm. well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I was granted life again. Oops. Nope. Man, well, that looks it. so flattering in this picture. Uh, he drew this picture in his book. Yep. Whoa. That was pretty dumb. 